Kepler closely. What lies between Mars and Jupiter is not empty space. It is the mass grave of a planet that was never allowed to be born. This is the asteroid belt, and it stands as stark, undeniable evidence of cosmic terrorism. This was a place where matter began to scream for the right to exist. Material had coalesced, forging powerful planetesimals, mere steps away from achieving worldhood. They took shape. They felt their destiny. But then a demon appeared. That entity was Jupiter. It is not merely large. It is the absolute tyrant of this solar system, but with its monumental mass and savage gravitational force, Jupiter delivered a catastrophic blow. It forbade life from forming there. It tolerated no rival in this region. Jupiter weaponized its tidal forces to tear the accumulating matter apart. It shattered the orbits, transforming the peaceful accretion process into a never-ending dance of chaotic collisions. The asteroid belt is a prison without walls, where billions of fragments are eternally trapped in a cycle of repeated destruction. Its structure is riddled with suffering. The deadly empty zones, known as Kirkwood gaps, are not random flaws. They are the scars of a purge, where Jupiter used orbital resonance to ruthlessly sweep and eject anything that dared to stabilize. But the debris here are priceless primordial corpses. We find the dark C-type carbonaceous bodies, the rigid S-type silicate rocks, and the pure M-type metallic bones, the chemical skeletons of a world that was massacred. Despite its vast appearance, the belt is only wreckage. Its total mass is insufficient to form even a small planet, serving as undeniable proof of a bitter failure at the hands of Jupiter. The asteroid belt is not a junkyard. It is a cold, harsh reminder in the cosmos. There are uncompromising rulers, and the law of destructive power is always the final law.